Hi everyone, it's Jenny with Joey and Jenny's Little Yellow House. We're on YouTube and Instagram at Joey143Jenny. And we're on Facebook at Joey and Jenny's Little Yellow House. Well, I wanted to get in here. It's very early in the, in the morning. I still have my morning uh, voice. <laughs> but I wanted to get in. I had something on my mind I wanted to make. And I also wanted to recap the little envelope of things that we made. So... Uh, just real quick, uh, because I kept thinking about it and thinking about it. How can I make it simpler? Okay, so we took off the flap and then we fold in. Well, let's fold it in half. So we fold it in half, the envelope, any envelope. And then we, we take in the sides to uh, make the pockets, the extra little pockets. I'm going to try to measure it. I guess it'd be best like this if you do it at the same time. Okay, so we did that. Okay, then my thought is let's go ahead and trim off just a teeny tiny on these little seams here. Now, I think this is going to work. So I'm just going to take a tiny bit off like that. Okay, and then what? I'm going to set that over there. Okay, so then what that's going to do is, okay, so I'm going to, we're going to fold it this way. Okay. And what that's going to do is it's going to open this up. Okay, so now it's easier to work with. Um, this would also make it easier to collage if you want to collage the whole thing. Um, okay, so then what I want to do is... Um, I want to cut this little bit here into an angle just to ease it a little bit for the fold. Okay. All right, because that's going to come up like like this. Okay. So it just is going to ease the fold a little bit. All right, and then on this on these, I'm going to take this part out to again ease the fold a little bit and so by cutting that edge off first I'm going to angle this a little bit too just by cutting that edge off first that gives us um, it, a cleaner way to cut oh, I guess I should say that okay all right so now we have this, right? Okay. Now, what I liked to do last time was I took, let me grab my ruler. I took my ruler and I took my pencil. And I don't know if you can see here, but this is where, let me hold it up. This is where the two connect. So I'm going to draw a line from this corner to this corner. Okay, I'm just going to draw a little, a light line. I'm going to do the same on this side. Yeah, I'm. can you tell I've been up at night thinking about this? I got to see where that line, where the... okay, I see it. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oopsie. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to cut on that line. This is optional. You don't have to do this. I just thought it looked nicer. Okay. Okay. So see now... my little folio is ready to go okay and then I would just take this center it and fold it so see how much faster that went oh okay so um, I wanted to kind of recap that because I worked on it and worked on it and I thought why is this so difficult it's supposed to be, for me, an easy project, but I kind of made it difficult trying to figure it out. But 
Isn't that just the way it is, though? Um, I did post some pictures, but I thought I would show these to you. So, um, yeah, I used all of the Junk Journal Studio things. So, put a little lace on this one. Open it up. And I also notched these out, too. So, that would be a good time to do it as well. Um, you know, before you start gluing down, you could just, you know, fold these two together and notch. You could actually, I see here, now I could fold those two together and get those exactly the same on those sides. Okay, and then, then you have your little notches there, so, okay. Ah, come on, little paper. My fingers haven't woke up. Okay, so there's one. And again, I left it a little loose um, so that we could put some things in it. Here's another one. It's turned out really cute. And I did put a few things on, you know, I put some stuff on the band in the back. So either way you look at it, cute, okay. I really liked these. I I like these for just because they're so eclectic with all the different things on them. I love this one. I did put a little bit of stickles on it. It looks really pretty in real life. I don't know if you can even see it. Um, and so then I just put a few little things in here from the kit. You can decorate the little pockets. Put a little something on the back. Okay, and here's another one, a little something on the back. This one feels pretty packed, so I did put a little journaling card in here. A little journaling card in here, and then a couple of journaling cards and a tag here. So you can really pack these up, you know, put some cute little things in there and nice little writing space. And, you know, you could tuck this in your journal, which I plan to do, or you could send it as happy mail to one of your um, buddies. Yep. So, okay. So I, <laughs> I wanted to show you that again, because um, after I figured out an easy, the easiest way for me so far, um, that was it. So, all right, I'll st stick those over here and let's put this away. <laughs> All right, well, today, don't look at my desk. It's a disaster. Okay, so today, what I wanted to do is make these cute little accordions. I'm sure other people have made these before, but I just wanted, I just had it in my mind as an idea to do. And so um, I wanted to, you know, show you. So again, I just took the Junk Journal Studio. I, this is the winter um, clustering or collage and cluster kit. And, um, I just glued a piece on the front, a piece on the back, and then just accordion for some writing. Um, you could, you know, actually glue things all along. You wouldn't have to just do it on the front and the back. You could do it all along. So I thought I'd make one of those real quick. And, um, oh, you know what? I forgot to get um, some more string. So, um, let's see, let me, let me run over here real quick and get some, nope, look what I found right here by me in my, I found it right here by me in my little stash. So we'll use that. Okay. So then, so first thing I want to do is get a piece of paper and I used an eight and a half by 11 because I wanted to be able to use that 11 part. And, um, I think I want another vertical because I want to be able to <laughs> get out of the way. I want to be able to get an, you know, a lot of folds into it. So let's see here. Let's maybe do a, some of these ladies here. Okay, how about these two? Okay. 
I'm going to go ahead and um, you could do this any size. You could do it teeny tiny, you know, so if you have some scraps that you cut off, um, you could use the teeny tiny ones. I have this on cardstock, just makes it a little bit firmer, you know, for my little accordion here. Okay, so then what I did was I just sat this down. Maybe I need to do it on the, yeah, let's do it on this side. Okay, I put this down in the corner. And I put it on this side because I'm going to twist it around. So I basically did this. Okay, so let's glue it down. And I thought that Fabri-Tac worked the best. It gives a little bit of, you know, gives you a little bit of wiggle room. I'll put a little bit here where that's going to go. It gives you a little bit of wiggle room as far as, you know, it's silicone, so, or a base that anyways. And so it, it doesn't dry super fast. And so it gives you a little bit of time to get things in position. Okay. And that's what I need is that time. Okay. So I'm going to set that down there, try to get it, you know, positioned evenly, but it's no big deal if you don't, you can always trim it. Okay. All right. Very good. Now I'm going to get my trimmer out. <laughs> And I'm just going to line it up. And you could do this ahead of time. The reason I do it, I'm doing it, you know, after I have it glued on is because I don't know if I cut all of these little journal cards the same height. <laughs> you know, there's some room for human crafting. Okay. Okay. All right, so then what I did was I just accordion folded. I'm trying to line it up and pretend that I did cut it straight because I think then when I do, if I have to uh, later on trim it, I think having one end at least nice and straight will be will make a big difference. I'm just kind of creasing it as I go. You could do this and then put different little Christmas sayings on each page. That'd be fun. You could do it and, and extend. Let me show you what I mean by that. So let's say I wanted to extend this. I could just put a little glue here and here. Just kind of Extend that. Ah, a little glue run away here. Okay. And then get this back out. <laughs> See if I can do this. I don't know if I can or not. Let's see. I'm going to have to fold it. Let me do it this way. That works better. 
all I did was I flipped it around and put this tail down here to kind of get it out of the way a little bit. See if I can get it straight using both the top and the side to try to cut it straight. Okay, I don't know that I glued it straight, so that's one thing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so we have our little accordion, and then we added on. And my thought is, what if you used the junk journal um huge old-fashioned christmas has all of the december daily dates and you could put a different day on each one and then you could have a tiny little journal and you could tuck it into your christmas journal And I think that would be a really fun idea. Unfortunately, I didn't think of it until just now, and I don't have the dates cut out. But we'll finish this one up, and then if that's something you want to do, I think it would be a fun idea. Okay. So that's going to come out pretty even. So that's awesome. Okay. So then I'm going to, where's my glue? Okay. Put a little bit of glue here. I'm just going to stick that down just so that I know it's going to stick. <laughs> This bottle could use a little cleaning, it looks like. Okay, we'll get that once we get the, her down. I'm just putting a light coat, and I'm just squishing it back and forth to kind of smooth it out. Really, I'm not adding more. I'm just squishing it to, or, you know, swirling it around. glue on my fingers oh yeah I see a little glue here Now, um, you could actually put this on, fold it uh, before you fold, I mean, fold it, but before you glue it, put your tie on this side. But either way you put your tie, it's going to come undone if you don't wrap it around. So like if I were to tie it on this side, this side's still going to flap. So if I were to tie it on this side, this side flaps. So I'm just tying it on one side and then I'm crisscrossing it to the other side like this and then I'll tie it like that my fingers are not quite awake they feel a little bit stiff so I don't think I can get a bow in there okay fun and then I think I'll put even a little And have all my little ribbony stuff out. <laughs> I think this would be fun to put. It's kind of Victorian looking. And one other. How about a little bit of that? That's so pretty.
you know what else I'm going to do? I'm going to take a piece of, what do I have? Okay, I'm stepping away for one sec. Coming over and I'm grabbing my, these are little fabric scraps. I see exactly what I want. Oops. I'm just going to grab a piece of this. Give it a little cut. And then I have this little pine cone. And I'm going to use black because I think it'll go with the ribbon. Cute. And I am going to trim it down a little bit. I just want a little teeny tiny. Trains have been running like crazy today. Probably the coal because we have the power plant. Lots of coal being delivered, I'm sure. Oopsie, oopsie, oopsie. Okay. One at a time. I thought I tried to do it all at once, but one at a time works better. All right. And then I'm not putting it in the actual knot because that way it'll stay once the knot is opened. So that just adds a little bit. I could put it a little closer though to the knot. Cute. So that'll look really nice in a in a journal pocket. Okay. Awesome. Well, thanks for crafting with me this morning, hanging out, um, having your morning coffee or tea with me. And um, thank you for your patience with that envelope thing. I really feel like that's going to be a lot of fun and I'm going to make some more. Um, probably not all Christmas. I think I have plenty right now of Christmas. I've made several, but I think there'll be ones that I'll use in my other journals. So I hope you enjoyed both of these little journaling crafts and I hope you have a super great day and don't forget we pray blessings over you and we want you to know you're so loved. Okay, everybody. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.